Turkey said on Monday the death of a reclusive U.S.-based Islamic cleric would not deter its fight against terrorism. Fethullah Gulen was a cleric who inspired a global social movement while facing accusations he masterminded a failed 2016 coup in his native Turkey. Turkish Foreign Minister Hakan Fidan said Gulen's death has been confirmed by Turkish intelligence sources. Fidan said that Gulen's death will not make us complacent or relaxed. This organization has been a threat rarely seen in the history of our nation, he added. Our nation, our state will continue to fight against this organization as they do with all kinds of terrorist organizations, Fidden stressed. He also called on Gulen's followers to turn away from this treasonous wrong path. Gulen spent the last decades of his life in self-exile, living on a gated compound in Pennsylvania's Pocono Mountains from where he continued to wield influence among his millions of followers in Turkey and throughout the world. He espoused a philosophy that blended Sufism, a mystical form of Islam, with staunch advocacy of democracy, education, science and interfaith dialogue. Gulen began as an ally of Turkish leader Recep Tayyip Erdogan, but became a foe. He called Erdogan an authoritarian bent on accumulating power and crushing dissent. Erdogan cast Gulen as a terrorist, accusing him of orchestrating the attempted military coup on the night of July 15, 2016, when factions within the military used tanks, warplanes and helicopters to try to overthrow Erdogan's government. Ankara'ya tekrar hoş FETÖ örgütü elebaşısının ölümünü ispatat kaynaklarımızda doğruluyor. Bu karanlık örgütün lideri ölmüştür. Terörle mücadelede milletimizin kararlılığı devam edecektir. Bu ölüm haberi bizi hiçbir zaman için bir rehavete gevşemeye itmeyecektir. Bu örgüt milletimizin tarihinde türüne ender rastlanan bir tehdit odağı olmuştur. Enerji konusu da ikili işbirliğimizin önemli başlıkları arasında yer alıyor. Kendilerini gittikleri ihanet dolu bu yanlış yoldan vazgeçmeye, devletlerine, milletlerin aleyhine karşı çalışmaktan vazgeçmeye davet ediyorum. Bu yol iyi bir yol değil. Bu yolun sonu iyi bir son değil. Basın toplantımız sona ermiştir. Değerli bakanlarımızı fotoğraf çekimine davet ediyoruz. For the second time this week, MLRS of the Armed Forces of Ukraine have hit a concentration of occupation troops during military exercises at training grounds. Another piece of good news for Ukraine came from one of the training grounds in the occupied part of Zaporizhia Oblast. A Ukrainian reconnaissance drone has once again detected Russian Armed Forces cadets at one of the training grounds located within the range of the Ukrainian Armed Forces MLRS systems. A missile with a cluster munition attacked a training ground with enemy personnel, Forbes reports. The most interesting thing is that the new strike occurred just a couple of days after the Ukrainian Armed Forces shelled another group of cadets in the same area. Since February 2024, the Ukrainian armed forces have carried out at least seven such strikes on enemy training grounds. The occupiers gathered at the shooting range in broad daylight. Military experts write that the strike was carried out by an M3031 missile loaded with 400 bombs. The entire time, a Ukrainian reconnaissance drone was in the sky. The source writes that the reconnaissance drone belongs to the fighters of the 15th Artillery Reconnaissance Brigade, Black Forest. They are armed with shark drones. A serviceman of this brigade, Petr, said that the artillery has changed radically only thanks to drones. Before drones came along, artillery and multiple launch rocket systems were used in batteries of 6 to 12 vehicles to simply shell entire areas, Petr said. Now launchers and guns fire one at a time because drones allow for precise fire adjustments. Back in September, the Black Forest Group was in Pokrovsk. They launched shark reconnaissance drones to locate enemy artillery and air defense systems. The brigade is currently located in the southern direction, 
and it has most likely been merged with the 128th Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces. Shark drones were created by the Kiev company Yukerspec Systems back in 2022. The UAVs are launched using a catapult. The drones have a range of up to 80 kilometers, which allows them to adjust artillery fire using M3031 missiles. A fighter from the 15th Brigade, Konstantin, admitted that drones hunt for large prey located at a distance of 30 kilometers and further from the front line. Experts write that the training ground at the Ukrainian armed forces attacked was located only 30 kilometers from the front line.